Ray, Brett Summer, Charles Nelson Riley, Juliet Mill, Richard Dawson, and Joanne Warley as we play the star-studded Big Money Match Game 74. And now, here's the star of Match Game 74, Gene Rayner. Thank you, my dear. Just follow me around. <laughs> Are you all ready? CC. Oh. CC? What kind of talk is that? Je suis ready. Oh, good. <laughs> she Anybody? speaks many tongues, Joanne Farley. <laughs> oh, one language, but many tongues. <laughs> Are there any questions? What is it that's got four legs and a tail each end? What is it that's got four legs and a tail at each end? I asked you first. <laughs> <laughs> Say hello to our two players here, Brad Alexander and Dee Davenport. Okay, Brad's the current champ. He's got $1,200 to his credit. Very nice. Mm. <laughs> As you can see, he's thrilled with the $1,200. How are you? Very good. Good. And he's being challenged by Dee. Where are we here? You've got four, you've got three, and we're, we've got a question for you. A second final round question. You've got to match one celebrity to stay in the game. Two will win. We'll find out what happens right after this message. Hurry back. Whee! Hey, Mom, how about I come over and we'll watch Buzzer? They're showing Family Feud with Florence Henderson, Password Plus with Vicki Lawrence, Super Password with Lucy, and a lot more. It's my mother. This is my right. mother you're talking to. TV Moms Week, all week long, starting May 8th on Buzzer. a button and reveal this question for you, Brad. Ready? Yep. All right. Remember, one to match, two to win. Who plays? Don't I play? No. We oh, play. Oh, the lower we tier plays, the upper tier does not play. play oh. Yeah, that's right. Then that. Yeah, the thing says here, did, did you hear... Story finish about <laughs> I'll tell you later. <laughs> oh. Did you hear about the nearsighted whale? Did you hear about the nearsighted whale? Probably, yeah. No. <laughs> he fell in love with a blank. <laughs> The nearsighted whale fell in love with a blank. I'm glad I'm not playing. Oh, there are, there are some good answers here. No, you don't have to write, sweetheart. Oh, for me to see and for you to play. Wait, I put my back. All right. Everybody said over here, Brad. One to tie, two to win. Did you hear about the nearsighted whale? He fell in love with a... Ship. Ship? A ship. Oh, ship. Okay. He said a ship. 
What do you say, Juliet? I'm not on uh, Brad's wavelength. I said porpoise. You said a porpoise. Tell another the porpoise. All right. Richard. <laughs> yeah, well, that, I think this comes under the heading. Uh, submarine. Submarine. Oh, oh. No? oh a oh. ship. He says a ship is a surface vessel and a submarine is a subsurface vessel and therefore he cannot match it. The judge just told me all that. Well, what is a whale? A whale is a surface and a... <laughs> okay. Now, Brad, you've got to match Joanne to stay in the game. Well, I tried, Brad. Well, I just write it down as the impulse <coughs> comes to me. Yeah. Just as it's there, and it should almost always write, except this time. I wrote hippo. Oh. <laughs> Lee Davenport wins again. Come on down, Dee. So now you've got $100. Are you happy about that? I'm thrilled. Good. All right. Now, Brad, you've got to leave now. Sorry to see you go, but you're not going empty-handed, are you? Right, no. Thank you very much. Uh, oh, pleasure to have you, Brad. Thank you. $1,200 for Brad Alexander. So long. Now, come over here with me. See this big thing that's turning around here? That means you're going to have a go at a lot of money here. Over $5,000 in the big money super match. You know how it goes? Yes. We polled a recent studio audience, and we got their best response to this. Mason Blank. Now, the answer they gave most often is worth $500 if you match that one. Then if you match the next one, you get $250. If you match a third, you get a hundred. Which celebrities would you like an assist from? Richard. What do you say, Richard? Mason Jar. Mason Jar. Okay, there's one. Joanne? Well, darling, I have a choice of two here. I think Mason Williams. Do a lot of people know him? That's your answer. You said it. Got to accept it. Mason Jar. Yeah. <laughs> now is as good so a Mason time Williams as any Mason to tell Jar. you I one never more. heard of. Brit. No? Brett, it's Mason you. Mason Dixon line. Mason, Mason Dixon, Dixon line. Dixon. Okay. Mason Dixon. So you've got Mason Dixon line, Mason Jar, and Mason Williams. You may choose one of those, D, or give us one of your own. What do you want to do, D? Mm. Do D. <laughs> do D. Do da. <laughs> do D. Dee dee do. I'll take Mason Jar. You'll take Mason Jar. Wrap up a dozen Mason Jars for the lady, would you? Okay, Mason Jar is one she's looking for. We're going to find out if it's up there. She's hoping it is under the $500 response first. May we see the $100 response? Mason Reese. Of course. You know I never him? heard of him either. Oh, yeah, that's the dwarf. Yeah. Mason Williams' best friend. <laughs> yeah, no, he's that little fella. He's about so tall. He does that with stuff on television. Nice fella. All right, here we're looking for Mason Jar. Here's the $250 response. Oh. Mason Jar it is. Congratulations. Oh. All right, you got the $250. What do you think's under there? Williams. You think Williams is under there? Oh. What? Yeah. Mason Dixon James. line, the audience says. What's that? Mason James will be Mason under there. James. All right, here's the $500 response. Dixon oh, line, you were right. Isn't that wonderful? Yes, it's great to be right, isn't it? All right, now you got the $250. You now play for 10 times that amount, or $2,500. To collect, though, you got to match one celebrity, and it's time to choose one. Richard. <laughs> I've done so well, haven't I, folks? <laughs> <laughs> All right, you face You'll me. You'll sing it till you please. know it. That's right. Two thousand five hundred dollar question. Here it is. Blank code. C O D E. Blank code. Well, he's finished. Now you have to give us an answer. You think we'll match his? D. How do you fill in that blank? Blank code. Morris. Morse code. She said Morris code. You remember Morris code? I certainly do. What do you say, Richard, for $2,500? Well, what do you send out during the war so that no one will know what message you're sending? What Secret. do they call it, darling? What do they call it? I'm dying to know. <laughs> oh, I'm asking. Do you, oh, yes, you know what it is? Secret code. Right. However, I put Morse. <laughs> Congrats. What message you send it? What do Secret. they call it? What do they call it? I'm dying to know. <laughs> oh, I'm asking. Do you, oh, yes, do you know what it is? Secret code. Right. However, I put more. <laughs> Congratulations. So you now have two thousand. 
$1,850. Congratulations to you. How do you feel about that? Fantastic. Really? Yeah. Well, you look great, too. You look like a very happy lady. You're going to play another game in a moment or so, but first we've got to stop and do a little business here, so we'll give you a chance to catch your breath. We go. We got a new player here, haven't we? Let's welcome Kathy Lober. Hi. How are you, Kathy? Would you please tell us a little bit about yourself? I'm 25, single, and I work as a research assistant here in Los Angeles. Well. And that's all I'm going to say. And that's all you're going to. Okay. Well, good luck to you, Kathy. It's a pleasure to have you here with us. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. There we go. A and B. You may have your choice. I'll pick B. B. Here we go. Everybody plays. Brand new game. Cowboy said that gunslinger took a shot at me, but I was lucky. The bullet went right into my blank. <laughs> you all seem stunned. <laughs> I don't understand. Gunslinger took a shot at me, but I was lucky. The bullet went right into my blank. Oh, I get it. I'm smartening up this week. I think you were right about the wigs, G. Uh, yes. <laughs> but you're wearing a, a false thing well, in the back. Well, that's just a little hank of hair, oh, as we'd say in May. A hank of hair, yes. <laughs> Flung on the back. Hank of hair, a jug of wine in now. Showing. Charles, are you writing something? What is... Okay. Oh. Don't worry about spelling. We'll figure it out. Even spelling? Spelling, yeah. spelling doesn't count yeah, here at all, Alejandro. Myself. All right, Charles. There we go. Now... Cowboy said that gunslinger took a shot at me, but I was lucky. A bullet went right into my... Holster? Holster. What? Right into my Bad. holster, she said. <laughs> okay, holster is her answer. Alejandro, what is your answer? Well, I thought it was a little harder than holster, so I put buckle. Into my buckle. Mm -hmm. All right. He's <laughs> so sweet, isn't he? He is he? <laughs> sweet, yeah. Now, may I make an announcement? Dumb, yeah. but We sweet. make a lot of fun of her, but her next answer really is very clever. <laughs> this seriously. One. Okay, seriously. In fact, it's adorable. Da -da 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 -da. Go, Brett. Well, you know, cowhands, I don't want to show my answer now. He's embarrassed me so bad. Went right into my bow legs. <laughs> That's it. Zap! 
Bullock didn't hit him at all, did it? <laughs> that jealousy is a terrible thing. That is indeed. I thought it was rather clever myself. What do you say, Charles? Well, she's got them, you know, so. <laughs> right into my horse. Oh, oh wait, wait a minute. For those, oh, say, wait a minute. Get you. For those that say, now just a moment. Oh, right, For those who are loud mouthed about it and went into my horse's tail so it didn't hurt him at all. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the tail still hurt the little Not horse. Not it doesn't. No, no, no. The cowboy loves his horse more than his Remember wife. Remember when the guy shot your hair on the top? You didn't feel a thing. Exactly. <laughs> you gave my answer. <laughs> Hey, would you like to yes. contribute a little sanity to the proceedings? Well, I went into my, my saddlebag. Into your saddlebag? Yes. Really? I'm sorry about that. Yes. Would you like to save England? Did they, <laughs> did they leave any family? <laughs> yes, he'd been riding for days. Yes. And, of course, he was a little numb. Right. Uh-huh. <laughs> you didn't. All together, folks. So the bullet went into his... Oh, yeah. uh, behind. <laughs> And it didn't hurt him at all. Of course, no oh, wonder you were jealous. <laughs> okay, now, Joanne. Well, you know how I try and do off my first instinct yes. and how it didn't Trust work last one. time? You know, well, I was going to say holster, that. but I changed it and said hat. I was. Yeah. That was my first thing holster. Okay, I'm sorry about that, Kathy. You didn't Absolutely. score at all with that. Let's see how Dee does with her first round <laughs> question, which is this. Superman said... I've been a big fan of Charles Nelson Riley ever since I found out he secretly blanks, like me. <laughs> Superman said, I've been a big fan of Charles Nelson Riley ever since I found out he secretly blanks, like me. He secretly blanks, like me. Da 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 da. <laughs> Don't peek at my ass. <laughs> <laughs> He's got one. Oh, dear. Everybody understand the Superman and oh. all that. Would you like to read it? Como se dice Superman in Espanol? Superman. Superman. Ever since I found out he secretly... Ever since he found out he secretly blanks like me. Okay. Blanks is the operative word. <laughs> Popeye is as far as he got in the comic strip. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that was another question another day. All right, here we go. Now, Dee, Superman said, I've been a big fan of Charles Nelson Riley ever since I found out he secretly blanks like me. Dresses. He secretly dresses like me. <laughs> I mean, with a leotard and a cape and all that? <laughs> he goes into all of the... All right. She said, he secretly dresses like me, Alejandro. Does that, that. that help said, you? Not at all. Not at all? Secretly flies. He flies like me. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Brett. <laughs> what did Superman do? I don't know. He flew. What does Charles do? Oh, I don't know about he that. Flies, he flies, my dear. Yeah. <laughs> do you believe uh, Charles? What? Charles? What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Now show us the answer. Fly. Fly! <laughs> okay. Superman flies. And Superman he, flies. He does fly indeed. He flits all over the place. I, I, what do you say there? No! <laughs> <laughs> I say that does not make you a bad person. <laughs> but I put flies with both spelling. Oh. <laughs> okay. That way you get them coming and going. All right. <laughs> well, you know, sure. I wrote flies and I knew I had it misspelled. Oh, don't go into that whole But we match, sure. sweetheart. Yes, yes, there is a match <laughs> for you. <laughs> okay, so it's yeah, round one. We've got one to nothing in favor of the champ. And round two comes up a little bit later, but first this. Up next, Match Game continues with more blank filling A and B questions. Then on Match Game Hollywood Squares Hour, we add X's and O's, all on B U Z Z R.
All right, now we're going to finish this game if we can. And I have the second and final round questions here and ask Kathy to make a selection. I'll pick B. B is what you want. All right, here we go. Everybody plays. Ken said, I took that El Cheapo cruise ship to Europe, and you know what? I had to blank all the way. Ken said, I took that El Cheapo cruise ship to Europe, and you know what? I had to blank all the way. Oh, I'm right. You've got your answer all picked out, I'm Kathy? Right okay. I know I'm right. I know I'm right. Well, let's see what happens. If we could wake Charles up, we could get on with the game. That's right. We could, couldn't we? There we go. Charles is ready. Kathy. <laughs> Ken said, I took that El Cheapo cruise ship to Europe, and you know what? I had to blank all the way. He had to bail. Bail all the way. Bail. I like that answer. You like that answer? <laughs> Yeah, don't know her. She's gonna go down for the third time. Let her go there then. Well, I don't know about bail. Now that I hear it, to Kathy, it sounds like a very good answer. Uh, let's see if it comes up over here. Alejandro. I think my answer is better, but it doesn't match. Oh. I said swim. Swim. Oh, yeah. No. No, that's not better than bail. That's not better it's than not bail. It's not better than bail. No, because you see, he was if on the ship. It doesn't match. It's not better. No. Brett, what did you say? Well, first of all, it's silly. He couldn't swim all the way to Europe. That's true. I didn't think about that. Well, you have to give, you have to take those things into consideration if you want to keep on being smart like I am. I said, uh, I said row. Row is a good answer. <laughs> the audience says row is a good answer. Well, we'll find out. Bail is the answer she's looking for. Two rows. Two rows. Uh-oh. All right. Here we go. Juliet. I said way. stand all the way. Stand all the way. Yes. Night and day. Head to the standing room only. We're getting close to the moment of decision here, Kathy. Let's see. Richard? I wish I'd posted bail for you. That's a great answer. Yeah, it, it is, is a good really answer. answer. Yeah. I said paddle or row. Paddle or row. Yeah. You've got to match Joanne to stay in the game. Let's see if it happens. Your boat gently down the stream. Row, row, row. So D. Davenport wins another game. Congratulations, another hundred for you. Oh, that's right. Kathy, sorry it was such a short meeting up and down like that here. We're very happy you were with us. We've got a gift for you, together with our thanks for being on Match Game 74. Thank Goodbye, you. Goodbye, Kathy Lowe. All right, now you've got $2,950, haven't you? I certainly do. <laughs> you certainly do. Okay, I believe you. Now you're going to have a go, another go at the Big Money Super Match here. You know how this goes. We polled the recent studio audience and got their best response to this. Mother of blank. Now the answer they gave most often is worth $500. Second, $250, and third, $100. Which ones do you choose here? Richard. Richard. Ah, uh, sweet mother of pearl. Mother of pearl, he said. Yes. Pearl. Yes, indeed. Brett. How about mother of the bride? Mother of the Bride, you say? Mother of the Bride. Mother of the Bride. Okay, that's what I thought you said. What's Juliet. Mother of... Juliet, Mother of... I said Mother of God. Mother of God. Yes. Okay, so we have three responses there. Mother of God, Mother of Pearl, and Mother of the Bride. You may choose one of those or give us one of your own. What do you want to do, Dee? Mother of Pearl. Mother of Pearl. Okay, that's the one we're looking for, the answer that Richard gave you. Let's find out if it's up there and if so, where. First... May we see the $100 response? Mother of mine. Mother of mine. That was a grand old song. Congratulations, you've just had the birth of a mine. Wait, <laughs> six pound, eight four. <laughs> Mother of mine. So Mother of Pearl is what we want. Let's find out if it's under the $250 response. Mother of invention. Congratulations. Necessity is the six mother. pound invention. <laughs> Necessity is the mother of invention. All right, last chance for Mother of Pearl. Here's the $500 response. Oh, you got it again. Congratulations. All right. We're seeing too much of each other. Yes. You've got to stop meeting like that because every, everybody's watching. Okay, you got $500. You're going to play for 10 times at about an hour or $5,000. To collect, you have to match one celebrity head to head. Which one will it be? Richard. Mother of Pearl. Mother of Pearl. All right, somebody down there is already feeling hysterical for you. Now, would you face me, please, D? Here's the $5,000 question, Richard. Please write your answer to this. Blank rack. R-A-C-K. Blank rack. 
Blank rack. He's finished. Now, D, what answer would you give us to match his blank rack, R-A-C-K? Oh, my gosh. Uh, I would say blank rack. I would say... I said blank rack. You, that's what you said. Yeah, now you I'm have to say, to say something, something else. Yeah. I'm supposed to say something else. Uh, bed. Bed rack? That's bed rock. <laughs> Okay, well, she's drawn a blank. That happens sometimes. Richard, for $5,000. Later, we'd like to take uh, some side bets. Yeah. <laughs> no, I've heard Maybe. a shad rack and a bendigo, but... <laughs> Maybe we see your response. Bed rack? Maybe? Bed rack. Yeah, I said you... hat rack. Hat yeah. rack. <laughs> hat rack. There's wine rack. Yeah. Rick what rack. Else? Rick Towel rack is another good one. Clothes a lot of good rack. ones. Oh, but, but I think you have to go a long way to beat bed rack. Yeah, that's... Uh... <laughs> oh, so, D, you're up to $3,450. You'll play another game right after this message. Here we go. I'd like to thank the assembled multitude. I'm thanking you. Oh, thank, thank you. you. You were just I love splendid. You. you are welcome. <laughs> Alejandro's been working very hard. He's been doing, what's that show you're doing? Now I'm doing a police story. A police story? Yes, sir. What do you play in it? I play um, a an ex-drug ex -drug addict. An ex-drug addict? Mm-hmm. Are you, are you the hero? I am not the hero. No, I'd like I to see a player. I have a hero. I'd like to see a play a real mean person. Sometime. I just finished a movie you, called um, The Pacific Connection. I played a very mean person. Okay, that's what I'm going to see. Okay, and I'll see you next time. Join us here for Match Game 74. Gene Rayburn, goodbye. This is John.